wabarakatuhu. May I humbly welcome you all, ladies, gentlemen, brothers, sisters, and friends, at the 29th annual Hussein Day Convention on Uniting Hearts. As you know, the pandemic has affected us a lot in many ways. And last year's Hussein Day, the 28th annual Hussein Day Convention on Service to Humanity was held virtually and was indeed a great success. But this year, we would like to thank a personality without whom this 29th annual Hussein Day wouldn't be possible. I would like to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude of thanks to Reverend Father Victor Lobo, Principal of St. Joseph's Autonomous, and the entire management of this college, without whose support this would never be possible. They have extended complete cooperation and support towards this event. I would like to also let you know, we are going live from this venue, and I also request the audience to kindly spread the message. We are live at www.husainday.com slash live. Please forward the message on WhatsApp to your friends, family, and everyone you know across the world. Today, we all have gathered here for a reason. And the reason is to introspect within ourselves, to ask ourselves a question. Are we doing enough to spread the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam? The year 2020 marked the beginning of unimaginable changes. The entire world was locked down, and life demanded us to adapt to the global pandemic. All of a sudden, the things which were dear to us were snatched away from us. Some of us lost our family, friends, and loved ones to the pandemic. Many of us have endured this disease ourselves and also seen our loved ones suffer from this disease. But the ray of hope, as we are blessed, that we take inspiration from Imam Hussein's message on the land of Karbala, and that is patience. Indeed, Imam Hussein is the epitome of sabr, and that has kept us moving on. The other lesson is hope, or umid, which has helped us recuperate from our loss and move on in our life. Imam Hussein's selfless stand on the land of Karbala has instilled hope in the hearts of millions of people across the world, including you and me. Imam Hussein gave his heart to Allah, and Allah gave millions of hearts to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. When Imam Hussein was left alone in the battlefield, after his brave companions and family were martyred, he gave a call to humanity, and I quote, Hal min nasirin yansurna. And this global call is still relevant today. The Husseini invitation is still relevant today. And from here, from this venue, from St. Joseph's Auditorium, let us all reply to his call. Repeat after me, Labbaik Ya Hussein. Labbaik Ya Hussein. Labbaik Ya Hussein. We are indeed at service, O Hussein. With these lessons of patience and hope, ladies and gentlemen, let us strive to propagate the message of love which Imam Hussein has passed on to us for the betterment of our society. Before we begin, we'd also like to pay a tribute to Molana Sayed Kalbe Sadiq Saab, who recently passed away, who has been a great support of the entire Hussein Day fraternity. And also, Janab Marhum Razas Sivi Saab, kindly recite a Surah Fatiha in their memory. We are here to speak about a leader who has not only inspired me and you, but millions of Muslims and non-Muslims across the world and across centuries. Imam Hussein alayhi salam, the name itself brings tears in the eyes of believers of social justice. A man who has amazed and inspired leaders, revolutionaries, freedom fighters, and upholders of human rights. He's indeed a treasure common to all creation and creatures by Almighty Allah. From his famous words, if you neither believe in religion nor fear the hereafter, at least be free from corruption and tyranny. The current world scenario is in total deviation of the values propagated by Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Racial discrimination, terrorist activities, attacks on refugees, hate crimes orchestrated on the basis of religion. With time, we have forgotten human, inhumanity, and being inhuman being. 
Let us understand that the concept of spreading love is a foundational teaching of all religions. Violence only begets violence, and the solution to violent acts is education. Imam Hussein's sacrifice is a guiding lamp for us and the future generations to follow. Today, on Hussein Day, we salute all the martyrs who have sacrificed their lives for the sake of humanity. Imam Hussein is one such great example. Let us choose love over hate, faith over despair, and acceptance over intolerance, and unite as one. And there cannot be a better situation as we all are battling the COVID-19 pandemic equally. Let us unite by breaking all barriers to spread peace and love. And that begins from here, from you and me. Respected dignitaries, honored speakers, guests, brothers, sisters, and my dear friends, we introduce to you the theme of the 29th Annual Hussein Day Convention, Uniting Hearts. If you listen close enough, you will hear the cries of help. These cries have no religion. They don't have borders like countries. They don't have languages. Every single day, the world proves to be a challenge for those around us. Diseases and destruction, calamities and catastrophes, tragedies and terror. One question exists in all of our hearts. What more will we have to endure? How many more lives will be lost? It is time. It is time to break free from the barriers of religion. It is time to uphold the commonalities of all our religions. It's time to place value on love, peace, and brotherhood. It's time to stand up for humanity. It is time to come together while uniting hearts. Taking inspiration from the life of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, grandson of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who sacrificed everything he had, including his life and the life of his family and companions to save humanity. Let us be the change we need today. Let us forget what makes us different and unite for what makes us stronger while humanity guides the way. Hussein Day is an annual interfaith peace convention organized to bring all communities together to protect the principles of humanity and social justice. This year will be more special than all of the years that went by because amidst all of the mandatory distancing, we'll witness the blossoming of a new togetherness. In this year's Hussein Day, many distinguished personalities from different walks of life have been invited to demonstrate the power of uniting hearts. Join us for the 29th annual Hussein Day on the 12th of September, 2021, to witness the true potential of unity humanity